Hey Legionnaires and welcome back to some more Napoleonic action. Can you smell the gunpowder in the air? Because we are here at Rob uh, with another glorious uh, battle for you today. And we have a historically, sort of historical battle for you. Because we have 1809 cores. We have 1809 Austria uh, cores versus 1809 French cores as yes, well. Uh, so we do have um, a fair few Johan cores here. I think we have three Johan cores. Core here we have uh, Kian, uh, Kian Meyer, I think is how you say his name, I'd probably butcher that. Kian Meyer, I think it was a four point, it's a tiny little core, but it's uh, made up of a lot of like, sort of like, fry core and sort of like militia units, and quite a lot of units can go into guerrilla deployment, which uh, I think is how the Austrians have already got here before the French. You see lots of light infantry that were already able to deploy early on here and they are going to be uh yeah just basically encamped there waiting until the main uh, austrian army does arrive and the french are also getting quite uppity it seems on this uh left flank of theirs uh or if you you call it the uh, the right flank of the austrians um but yeah i don't know which uh, french cause we have um but uh, it looks like we have um I don't know, it's pretty, I imagine some pretty strong ones because we've got 12 point, uh, Johan's 12 pointer. Um, it's a shame we can't see the French perspective and see like, or like, see like uh, through the fog of war, see which uh, cores they have. It would be handy. Uh, it's something I wish we could see in NCW3, but yeah, I have no idea which ones it is. Um, I think there's a couple of Eugenes, I'd imagine, probably. I think there's three Eugenes and I'm not quite sure what the uh, the other uh, one is. Looking at sort of like the end results, uh, looking at the flags, I think that's what they are. Um, but I could be wrong. There are Italians, uh, some Italian uh, in like skirmishes that we've just seen. Um, so it might be the case that there is uh, some Eugenes in this one. And you can see here the Dracoons being really aggressive, trying to get rid of these Chevrolet Girls. And they're sprinting for their life. They're getting out of there. Um, but yeah, I've been told that this battle is a really, really close one. Um, and it yeah, comes down to the wire. It's sent in by um, one of my subs. And yeah, he said to this one, one of the closest battles they fought in a long, long time. It's out on a new map as well that you get with a new update of 9.6. So what better uh, sort of battle to show off than this one. And it seems as though, yeah, on this flank over here, Austria, so they've been pretty aggressive, you know, going forward with the line infantry, pushing back the skirms, which is what you should do, really. If you're facing off against uh, a skirmish line and they're just pestering your line infantry, push forward your line infantry if you can. Just start uh, just shoot, shooting them back. Um, but yeah, this map's super, super flat, so artillery is going to have an absolute field day. And it always seems like this French artillery here is sort of already bombarding these poor uh, Hungarians quite a bit. They've already lost 25 men, either that's through artillery fire or whether that's skirmishes chipping away at them. Um, yeah, they're having a rough old time, it seems. So the Austrian artillery here, the three pounders are trying to respond with those tiny caliber guns. And uh, yeah, we've got lots of grenadiers as well. Johan seems like they're able to bring up plenty of grenadiers. He's got lots of. Uh, German and the Hungarian Grenadiers in reserve. They're also can form square quite a few of them, which is why they're off the brawl, I think. And they can shoot pretty well. Um, but they are quite small units typically, so which, you know, well, I don't know, 137 is actually not too small. Those ones are a bit smaller than the 80s. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, they're a pretty good, well-rounded unit. But if, yeah, they get into melee here, the French, and they're going to have a tough time going up against the Grenadiers. It looks like, yeah, it looks like maybe some sort of provisional infantry. I think most of the 1809 French armies made up of uh, quite a lot of provisional infantry. Eugene 1809s are really nice for. I have a lot of fun playing that one. It has quite a lot of good shooting. Laguerre, actually, I think, in it as well, if I remember correctly. So we're going to go there. There are some now appearing here. And, yeah, they're pretty good. And can form square quite a few of them. More in French forward here. Looks like... I don't think any of the Grenadiers, it looks like it just will be generic French infantry. Um, but yeah, I definitely think this is uh, going to be one of the Eugene cores on this flank here. Yeah, the Italian, Italian skirms is a pretty good giveaway. Yeah, France pushing forward uh, now in quite a uh, concentrated area in column. A lot of these French infantry here, and they're going up against looks like a couple of Hungarian line infantry. These can all form square, so they're safe from cab, but they're not necessarily safe from the French columns. First, until they might get a volley from the Laguerre. They are going to try and withdraw safely out of range. There you go, yeah, the French are still being aggressive, still pushing forward. Voltigares here as well. I don't think they brought the uh, Voltigares Combines, uh, which is a fun unit that I like to show off uh, when I play Eugene 
18 or 9. But uh, yeah, I don't think anyone's brought it. But we'll have a look. See, it's a very good unit. It's a pretty expensive line infantry, but it's good in melee, and it's a uh, good shooting unit. And it's pretty large. I think it's about 100 plus men in a unit. We'll see. But yes, if you're enjoying the NTW3 action and want to see more Napoleonic content, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. It really does help out the channel. And uh, yeah, if you want to make sure you don't miss out on any sort of NTW3 streams or battles, uh, then make sure you hit that notification bell. We do a lot of uh, NTW3 content and uh, certainly a lot of live battles, uh, usually on a Monday, typically, uh, usually like 8 um, p.m. sort of British time. Anyway, if you ever want to get involved in any battles, feel free to join my Discord, or if you just want to watch along, feel free to, uh, to hit the... Um, notification bell so you don't miss out and there is a big cav fight going on in this side here as you can see france is engaged looks like with some of those dragoons that are being really aggressive with austria is sending the chevalier gers it's a combat gen chevalier which is why i think he won the initial fight but the uh, the secondary uh looks like a secondary dragoon coming in oh no it's the chester cheval that actually uh, is coming in i uh, won that fight for the uh, for the austrians why they thought that was a good idea and didn't wait for the hussars i'm not sure or whether they were hoping that this Grenzer infantry here might um, finish off any French cavalry. But yeah, definitely uh, is a strange one of taking a, t a, taking a 2v1 uh, cav fight, when it, which wasn't in their favour. And it looks like the French cav uh, has also been busy here in the centre. Dragoon's going in. Looks like the, uh, the German infantry here actually resisted the French cav. Cav is definitely weaker in this 9.6 patch. Um, so yeah, uh, just charging head on like that it doesn't actually always work now. And we do have Italian Guardsmen here for the French group. Also, so we have Grenadiers and Guards. These guys are. I think the green ones are Grenadiers and Guards. The white ones, the big bear ships are the Carabineers. So yeah, they have plenty of the Guards coming uh, in today's battle. They're pretty expensive. Obviously, they're for the uh, melee factor as well. Pretty small to be trying to shoot their way through. Melee, though, is not as effective as well generally. Uh, like it whether that's cab using melee or whether that's infantry meleeing, neither is that effective as in 9.6. It is more of a shooting uh, match, which is kind of what Austria is, you know, built for. Uh, but so is this France army, peril, like I said. It's got a lot of Laguerre, a lot of good shooting uh, units. So Eugene actually being ch uh, chosen as faction to go up against Austria in this one works quite well, balances quite well. Probably why this battle is quite close uh, as an end result. Who will win? Who are you rooting for? Your team Austria or your team France? Are you supporting the French Emperor Napoleon or the Austrian one Francis? This is a battle of two emperors. That's, to be honest, quite a lot of the battles are, whether in Russia or Austria. I guess. I guess technically if there was the French fight the Ottomans as well, the Ottomans are technically an empire, but they're called the Sultan. Uh, just as though, yeah, the uh, Austrians are starting to lose this line fight. I think they're focusing down one or two in particular areas. And yeah, the uh, the French are going through a gap in the line here with their grenadiers of the Italian guard. In they go. They got some volleys off on this unit. So it is redlining first. A bit of a volley there from the uh, from the Austrians at the last minute. But it does not matter. The Italians have broken through. And they're going to break that Austrian unit. The uh, looks like Italian dragoons going in here. Trying to finish these early... Uh, German infantry off here, and it looks like they are going to beat them. I mean, that one, you know, routing there is probably uh, causing these real ones to start to master out. And you can see, yeah, the side charge from the Italians, backed up by the frontal charge from the French, is also causing these units to orange and red line. We're going to see a square form there by the Hungarians. I guess that's maybe to try and uh, give themselves a bonus in melee. And it looks like some of the other Hungarian line infantry here just falling back a little bit, maybe so they don't get melee so easily. But yeah, that's pretty devastating. In comes some dragoons here from the Austrians try and challenge the Italian Dragoons. And it looks like they're going to get rid of the Italian Dragoons and the Austrians are going to get out of there. France is sending in, looks like, some Chasseur Cheval, or maybe some allied ones. Uh, but they're going to get challenged by Dragoons and I think the uh, French are going to try and get out of there. They did not want that fight. And Austria's coming in. And yeah, the French route pretty quickly. Actually, even some Grenz and Schutzen here helping, I think, to route these guys. And there you go. France at the moment being kind of repulsed and stalled in a few places. Uh, they managed to get rid of that Hungarian line infantry, but it took a lot longer than I think they expected it to. And uh, the, uh, I think the guards are retreating, uh, as they probably are spent at this point. And Laguerre's going to have to go back to it, shoot off. We've got more Dragoons coming forward here. And it looks like Austria as well being busy on this right flank, and has actually pushed back with, um, so it looks like some of that returned Chevalier unit here managed to get rid of uh, a Dragoon unit 
And it looks like they've also been supported by infantry. The skirms being removed as well. And another healthy looking Hussar coming around that flank. So all of a sudden, yeah, the Austrians are now in behind. Uh, and it looks like, I mean, this is a winded unit. We'll see whether they can get a, a good charge here. It looks like it might route that Chasseur Cheval as well. Austria probably does have a cab advantage. Uh, probably better quality cab in this one. And uh, both sides are redlining, but France is going to route first. France is dashing over more cav. Um, but I don't know if it's really worth it. I think this, this Austrian, I think it's going to get out of there. It's pretty scot-free. But yeah, France is dashing. Looks like a, a Tribunio over here. Might be a provisional one looking at the uniform. I'm not quite sure. And uh, yeah, France staying in the slime fight, to be honest. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, it's definitely focused down this uh, Hungarian unit. I'm surprised it's not being extracted, but it's going to get focused down here. Look at that red lining. Shooting a little bit of friendly fire there, I imagine. And there you go, that's the unit gone. And a general's already been killed. The uh, enemy, uh, sorry, the French probably lost a general. I don't know if they did that on, uh, like, like, sort of gen side, but I think that's just a, maybe a, uh, a ricochet from a artillery uh, round. He's killed the general there, and that's going to be cost for the French. That is not what the central French army needs, is it's trying to assault this armory here. Um, so yeah, that is not great at all. It is, I guess, like the main LOC, this uh, this armory here. So we'll see whether um, French can manage to take it. I mean, the uh, French have gone in with some cav here. So uh, Chasseur Cheval, they're going to get rid of these guns. I think they're going to get a uh, quite easy repulse there by Hussars. And there is uh, more Hussars for the Austrians just sneaking around the back, I guess, just making sure these guys don't escape. The line fight over here looks like France is winning this, I think, because the artillery... And the, inf uh, the skirmishes are just chipping away at the Austrians quite nicely. And uh, the Austrians are thinking, might counter charge here. Nope, they changed their mind. I thought they might go and give the uh, the French a bit of their own medicine. They did not. And uh, it looks like the Hussars, I think, went in behind. Maybe, oh, did they go in behind? No, those are still safely out there, actually. Some other Hussars, I think, tried to go for the guns. Failed. The yeah, Austria and France really in a bit of a death match. It's Austria really could if they wanted to. Uh, go across these bridges, I think, and just kind of use those as sort of choke points. I don't know if you, I, you might be able to just cross anyway. It looks like the, the Austrians are just retreating over the river. It looks like you can just cross wherever you like. But maybe the river line's not that big a, big a border to try and worry about. But France is right by the river at this point. They've pushed hard and really hard. And it looks like they're going to try another cavalry charge here. This cavalry is not slowing down. Going in, looks like they're going to go after these uh, land bear here. They can't form square, and I think France is aware of it um, because, well, they're a ragtag sort of unit. It's, you don't need uh, a lot of Napoleonic knowledge to know that these guys are probably militia. Kind of got thin there, though, did the Dragoon. That's not so great. Hopefully, uh, no more thinning happens in that fight, but the Dragoons are side charging here. That might screw the French over. They're going to try and pull the Dragoons out, which Kind of a no-no. I don't know if you're really allowed to just like to do that, really. Um, but they are going to rout. Um, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't be too bothered. They did kind of get thinned as they went in, which is a bit unfair. There you go. Good volley from the French. So point blank into those dragoons as they try to pull back. So they might rout the uh, the Austrian dragoons as well. But we are going to see a secondary cab charge. Looks like the Italian dragoons are back for a second go, and they're going to go in for the land bear here as well. And the land bear trying to fall back is Austria. Looks like, yeah, they are still having to give ground here to this, uh, this French corps. But France is expending a lot of resources here. And Austria is slowly flanking around, as you can see. They've got some Grenzers here that are soon to be able to be on top of this artillery. And uh, they have more infantry here flanking. And uh, they're supporting the cab still. And France has a lot of cab in the back right now, just being occupied doing rearguard duties. Uh, but yeah, France still pushing hard here. The uh, Italian Dragoons did get through. They got some of the land there. But they're going to try and uh, withdraw now. France has also still gone in again with the Italian uh, guards in here. It looks like they win for a bit of a side charge. The other one is going in as well, the weaker one. That's going in for the more frontal charge after the, uh, the other healthier one goes for the side charge. And they are routing these guys, these uh, German uh, infantry. The Hungarians going in here could form square and do. They're going to stop the, the Dragoons there. Might not matter. The, uh, the Italian guards might be about to bayonet charge, and we'll see. The, will the Hussars stabilize this line a little bit? We'll see. But the, yeah, the French. I mean, they're pushing forward hard here, but they don't seem to be aware of the coming threat on their flank and how large the problem it could be. I mean, it's not a lot of units, but it's more than it seems the French have. There, whether the French in the center could maybe supply more Your troops there doesn't seem like that. They're, they're really doing too much uh, assaulting there. There's just a bit of a line fight. Whether they could turn some units around, maybe. Try and block the Austrians off. 
Looks like the Hussars have decided to withdraw here. They're going to try and sort of uh, like just stay, just hold the line for a bit. The French are now trying to deal with his flank. The Grenzers can't form square. The French going in with Chasseur Cheval. They might break these guys pretty quickly. The Grenzers rely pretty much on those large units and uh, don't have great morale up, I remember. The French are also going to try and do a do or die on this flank here. Italian Dragoons going in, they're a good Dragoon unit as well, a top tier one, uh, one of the better ones you want to send into a, a pretty decisive cav fight, they're probably going to win this fight against this uh, combat gem, they didn't win the other fight though, like I said I think that's a provisional uh, Dragoon unit there, it certainly looks provisional, the Dragoons are going to go in here, the Italians go up against these Hussars, looks like the uh, the Austrians are going to continue to chase that uh, other unit, whether the Italians could break this, I don't know, they could French certainly could have done with a set, another unit here while not losing that other cab fight. We'll see what happens. The Italians are desperately chasing them. I mean, if this Hussar keeps going deeper and deeper into enemy lines, it might be going for this general here. You never know. But I think that's the one without a without a general, technically. A general, you know. But there you go. Look at that. The Italians broke, I think, just from the uh, the shots from the Grenzers there and also probably from exhaustion. That should return that unit unless the Hussars here run it down, which they might do. They might make sure this unit stays gone. And if it, they do, the French have little cav now defending this, uh, this flank uh, they are sending more cav actually towards their own uh, towards the austrian center to try to break this just search about will they going to get stopped here by chevrolet girls it's the same combat gen actually has been operating on that flank joseph uh vetzel. vetzel trying to go for the guns with the french and they failed once again looks like this is the only cav unit now left in the center for the french at least what we can see the dragoon unit uh yeah, that French, not that French cab's routing. And the Hussars are going in. And they're trying to stop these Laguerre. They might do it. Some of them are breaking. The fast paced game. This is a Hungarian uh, infantry here. Foreman Square. They get a bit of a bonus, even in melee against infantry. Um, doing this. They are shooting their own troops here, the French. And I, that might have broken the infantry instead of the cab there. Now the French shoot. Because the. Uh, the Hussars are still going on into more infantry. If it's failed to form square or can't, and they're probably in the case of the Guardsmen, it does not matter. The, uh, the Hussars have been repulsed for now. Yeah, this flank on the, of the Austrians here, the right, is still progressing. And the French now being forced to retreat. I think they just need to play a bit more defensive for a little bit. Uh, they've been super aggressive there, and it's really not come to anything. Uh, the French, look, they've won the first sort of cav skirmish on this side here. They've lost one cav of their own. Um, taking out one Hussar. Maybe it's fairly even. I'm not, I really wouldn't be sure. Yeah, the French coming out of that looking okay. But the Austrians still have a pretty good Dragoon unit here. Very big one, 118. And then also they have uh, Joseph von Wetzel here as well. So he's everywhere, is uh, Josef in today's game. Got another uh, Hussar here. So, yeah, I mean, the Austrians, yeah, are going to have cab superiority. They always were. It's kind of their thing. They go in and hear the Dragoons going in and say, another big unit, uh, 125 man unit, going against a tiny little, uh, looks like, might be Italian Dragoon. Whether it's a, uh, like, an Italian guard uh, Dragoon unit, uh, they've got, like, a guard that I don't know whether it is just a, a weakened Dragoon unit. Oh no, the, the uh, Dragoon is here as well going in, breaking a Legeb, uh, but being stopped by the, the one after that could form square. And here comes uh, Cayenne Meyer with his Landwehr spam. The militia are here. And this is what you need. These guys are you know, going to be vulnerable to cab charges, but there isn't much French cab left to do any of that sort of damage. And there you go, another Dragoon unit, uh, unit being broken here. We didn't really see it, but that was the, the only one left really in the center for the French, being broken by that Hussar there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much now all the French cab on this sort of like left and also I'd say center gone. The right still has a couple of cab units that might need to think about shipping some over. Um, but yeah, it seems like right now the Austrians being pretty aggressive on this right flank here. France has definitely got to think about making some sucker punches somewhere. If they're going to do it, it, I think this is the spot really. They've got a fair few infantry units here of their own. Whether they can form square, I don't know, but they've got a small skirmish line to break through first. Then there's just um, Kayamea's uh, Landwehr after. Looks like we are going to see a cab charge here. The Hussars are going in. Looks like they're going to give it a go and try and get some glory of their own. 
French are going to form square, though, and that might just uh, be what the French need, you know. They can break that side unit here, get a volley off. They might. If they get a better one, that'd be even better. Then there's no more cab to really stop this infantry advance. Uh, it's a shame they didn't get another volley off just to break that Hussar. But this army over on this side seems like it's still fairly intact at the moment, which is good. Um, but it's going to have to start to make some pushes hard to maybe try and draw some Austrian troops back down the line from his, uh, from their right back towards the left. But yeah, this French this French sort of L that's being formed over here right now, if you can sort of see the French line is getting turned in as the Austrians are outflanking them with infantry. Uh, that is a problem. That is a problem. You don't want to get bunched up like that. You don't want to start boxing up an NTW3. If one unit is to break, it's pretty much then over. So the other units will be effective and your like box formation will just implode on itself. I think the uh, the Hussars are going to go in here, try and get rid of this general. But I think this is the one that's lost, like I said, lost the, the commander. So I don't think it's... You see the, the player's not really bothered about trying to save it. I think he's... Yeah, general's gone already. It doesn't really matter. Um, but he could now... With the Hussars are tired already. They might want to rest up a bit. He could just hammer an ambulance the back of all these French here, dueling... Uh, with the fence line, the Freikor here uh, have been fighting for a long, long time. Cayenne Mayer here doing, doing God's work as a four pointer, really, you know, putting in the, the hard work. Might not have the best of troops, but you know, his, his land there and his like Freikor have been just like plugging away at these, uh, these French troops, fighting them where they can, you know, behind these, uh, these walls, getting them get a better cover. Staying in line fights, definitely not going into melee, which definitely wouldn't stand in those. There you go, another general's died. Uh, or maybe that was, maybe actually that Hussar, you know, was running down a general that was still alive. So maybe there was two in the center there that ended up being, um, like one that got sniped and the other one obviously now has just died. So it looks like uh, that general also, um, well that, that's probably the, another one of the center armies here just being killed off. There was obviously two here. But it didn't seem like the French general was going to make an attempt at all to try and get out of there. Maybe he knew the game was up for that French army. But, I mean, they're going to have to kill an Austrian general soon or something to try and level the playing fields because that's two French generals gone. Not good at all. And you can see the French here being uh, forced back. The land there from uh, Cayenne Mayer, the four-pointer, held them at bay. But it does seem like that uh, Hussar has finally given up. The line fight over here, though, that uh, France is playing seems like it's working. Yeah, the units seem a lot healthier. Also, I think their artillery is positioned pretty well uh, from what I've seen. Uh, though it looks like we are about to see a general and also another cav unit go forward and try and help this cav fight here. I guess to try and know if they can win this cav fight, the Italian Dragoons here going in against the Chevalier If they can win this fight, also looks like we do have a, uh, a Maybe an Italian infantry unit, yeah, this is a tiny little one where they can uh, try to side shot the Austrians there, trying to help win that fight. If the, uh, yeah, the French can win this cab fight, they can get in behind the Austrians and then they, they can maybe turn this around, you know, on this right flank. And there you go, they've won. That's huge for the French cause here. And now this right flank is cab free, uh, looks like, for the Austrians. Uh, but the French still have cab here. It's the only cab they have left, I think. Unless some. Though this one might have been sent over. I don't think this one's turn. I don't know, maybe it has. But they have got a Dragoon here now on the left, at least. That's good. French are going to need that. Austria, I doubt, is going to want to go to melee. I don't know if they've got any of their Grenadiers left. It seems like they might have been in uh, the earlier fight. Looks like there's lots of land there. Either from the 12-pointer or from the 4-pointer here, doing a lot of the grinding. So really, I mean, what France wants to do, uh, from what I've been told... Ah, oh, they do have the Voltigeus Compines. Excellent. These guys. They, uh, that's, a, that's a good unit to have. There you go. Uh, Lander already breaking. Facing the mighty Voltigeus Compines. Oh, I'm glad to see these guys here. One of my one of the sexiest uniforms, in my opinion. I like the, I like the green and the yellow uh, combination going on. A very, very cool unit, that's for sure. I was about to say, I don't think these guys are going to melee, but Lander is going in and getting bullied in the face. That's probably not a, a smart idea from the Austrian player. Landwehr... When does Landwehr ever? I mean, they kind of got fimmed, to be fair, but they are... I think they were breaking anyway. But yeah, when does Landwehr ever break through line tree? Uh, I know these, some of these French have no uh, the general, but still, you don't risk it, that's for sure. You don't risk just meleeing wildly like that. 
Uh, you want to try and get Cav in behind if I was Austria now and try and hit these Frenchmen in the back. Um, France, I presume his uh, Cav's gone wide, which is why we can't see it. Don't think it's routed. Surely it's not routed. We would see it if it had. But yeah, it looks like... Uh, yeah, I mean, right now, yeah, the, the uh, Austrians and the French just need to stay in a line. Uh, I'm focused on saying a line fire. I think France got the, the units to do it. Austria does as well. France just needs to target what I was saying before. I was got distracted by the glorious uniforms of the Volkswagen and Combines. It's just target units. Like these two units here should just target one land bay each. Both shoot the same unit. Just try and whistle it down. Take it one by one. I mean, they seem like they're doing the damage anyway. These land bay are kind of breaking. Like they're relying on a four pointer quite a lot here for this push. It's not great for the Austrians. That might help the French out a bit. Um, but they still have a fair few uh, 12 points or units littered about. Maybe they're just saving them for later, trying to weaken up the... Uh, I think they're try, yeah, trying to weaken up the French, maybe with the the four pointers before sending in the uh, the rest of the 12s. Which might be the case, but here go the French on the right-hand side. Uh, well, they're right, the uh, the Austrian left. They're going in. None of these guys... Well, actually, the Hungarians could form square and fail to. They're going to break. The French there doing a very good job. Uh, look at the other French cabs not going to go in just yet, but that one has done very well getting a, a good break on a squareable unit. Uh, now the French just need to push forward, maybe try and get a melee off here. Certainly maybe send in the little Italian unit, maybe try and get a, a, a side charge here. A bit of Italian steel into the flank would certainly help out. But there you go, the uh, Austrians have been routed. Get the French cab out of there, that's too precious to lose now. There you go. Uh, oh, I was going to say, I think these guys can form square, but they couldn't. They just were forming up to try and blast the, uh, the French. And instead, the Italians can try and melee uh, these Dutch infantry here, which. Uh, sorry, these uh, Deutsch or German infantry there. Not Dutch, that's for sure. They might break them because the other one's uh, waving through them. That might just, you know, cause a mass, uh, a bit of a mass route here. You can see all these guys are orange lining and red lining a little bit. The French, I think, did a bit of an all out assault. They might just break that whole lot there. More Austrian cab now has arrived here, I think, from the successful center and right to uh, try and you know, stabilize here and match up against the, the French cab. And the French actually went for a bit of an assault themselves. So they're trying to uh, get rid of the Austrian guns. They're just in a, a French infantry unit, nothing too special. And again, they're going to give ground, which is not a bad idea. If the artillery sets up, give ground. Don't stand your ground. Maybe the artillery. Uh, reform up and try and uh, charge and get it. and there you go the, uh, the Italians broke but they did break a fair amount of those Austrians there and yet you know they're fairly bloody those guys are gonna need to take a bit of time to lick their wounds and then they're breaking these other ones as well redlining there goes another one actually and yeah here we go the Laguerre can push forward they can try and wrap him behind these uh, these Austrians here and keep on blasting and there you go the Austrian retreat they realize the, uh, the seriousness of their uh, situation and in go the French cab looks like it's the Italian going in the Italian line infantry form square uh, sorry the uh, Hungarian infantry form square the Italians are repulsed and the French here are kind of getting away the uh, the Austrians are not chasing at all they are, yeah they're kind of not, they're allowing the French to get away and sort of regroup. France still being aggressive on this side here and doing pretty well with it. Still a fair amount of the 12 pointer here. As you can see, the French on as well have also managed to repulse some of these four, uh, four point land there. And I mean, it's more flat uh, land there over here from the four pointer that uh, they've got to face off against. It is concerning there is a lot of uh, this line being made up of four-point land there. It would be better if there was some more Hungarians that could form square like that one. The Freikor artillery there as well. The France in the centre being yeah, forced back. I think that's because the, the rest of the French line here is having to, uh, to retreat. A French cab is should really be on the flank because the Austrians are yeah, being pretty aggressive with the Hussars here. I don't know if these French could form square. I hope so if they're on the flanks. Certainly on a, on a flank where there's now cav and uh, a lot of those units might just break because of no generals. They're charging. I think it is just the, the Laguerre here that was maybe just charging forward. 
It was about to get countered here by Hussars, and they changed their minds. The Dragoons here for the French are still alive, which is good. That Italian Dragoon is priceless. It really is. It's one of the best caviars. Even if it wasn't in it, just in like these cores, Italian Dragoons are probably some of the best Dragoons around. I mean, the best, obviously, are the Empress's Dragoons, but I wouldn't sniff at some Italians. One of their best assets is their cavalry. Yeah. Their, uh, their Dragoons. Their, gu their guards are pretty good. Their Laguerre's are pretty decent. There you go. Yeah, Austria stands strong. France is... Having to retreat, whether Austria will follow, whether they're quite happy just holding the LOC, which they might be. Um, yeah, it's just kind of like, that is the main LOC. I don't think there is, um, like, any sort of point value ones. I think they're all probably just worth one point or all these occupiable buildings. Um, so, uh, I don't know if the army is still intact, whether they can get in it. It doesn't look like it's the case. Yeah, it looks like, I, can't, I mean, I'm hovering over it. I can't, nothing saying armory and what... Uh, State it's in, so yeah, I think that's a, a fully destroyed uh, building, which I guess the French don't really care about. They don't need to hold the LOC necessarily; you can just wipe out the Austrians. That's going to be one mean feat if they are going to do it. France is pushing forward here, still. It's the only place they can push forward. And I mean, if I was the other French armies, and if you were able to slink away with the majority of your force here and come and join this other French uh, corps, I'd definitely be doing that. Because Austria is, yeah, not being aggressive. They've been quite static, not being uh, pushing on here. So I can understand they don't want to push on too much and just, you know, give up the support that they uh, want to give this, this armory. If they push too far around, uh, then the army defense has kind of become redundant. They kind of want to use that as their sort of, like, linchpin of their defense. But this flank here needs more troops. So whether they just shift more stuff down, which looks like that might be the case. I'm seeing a lot of Johan, yeah, grenadiers coming down healthy ones, actually. Have is even here too. Come and deal with the French ones. The Chevaliers and Sars. I think both are combat gens. So whether they can deal with the uh, the dragoons, we'll see. Yeah, Austria just needs to get back into a line fight. A bit of a healthy units. They'll be okay, but there's a lot of battered units here. A lot of units here, like sub 100. The French seem pretty well stocked. I can't see what size their units are because we can't hover over them. But they look pretty well stocked. Most of them. At least on this flank. Not so much necessarily on this flank. Glorious fire there. Gotta love the smell of gunpowder. Austria on the retreat again as soon as France marches forward then uh, Austria's on the retreat they're still waiting for those reinforcements Johan still not yet in position with these uh, more healthy units that are coming from the center I think we've seen some action some of them more than another 79 that looks down to but yeah like, I mean the Grenadiers the Hungarian Grenadiers 92 out of 92 and then there was another one a German one uh, somewhere I saw. Yeah, 130 out of 137. Could be good units. If they get into another melee fight, they'll be good to try and stop the French. If not, then um, they're okay, like I said, in a uh, in a line fight as well. They've usually got pretty decent uh, shooting stats. We also have five pounders moving over here, which is not a bad idea as well for the Austrians. You get their artillery to come forward and uh, try and support in a line fight, try and get some canister shots off potentially. Looks like France actually is going to go was going to go in for the Austrians here, and it looks like he's going to fall back. Austria, though, has come in. He's been baited in, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's fine for Austria. They've got cavs, but they can kind of burn. The French, not so much. The French lost a cav unit in that fight. I think they're going to win this one. Well, maybe well, maybe not now, with the rear charge coming from the Chevaliers. Yeah, and they routed both the French cavs. That's probably going to be costly for the French. That French cav that had to play defensive, and it went way too aggressive they try to bait the austrians i think to try and bait them towards the laguerre and the skirms here and uh it succeeded in baiting them but uh instead they had to have a cab fight and the the cab lost for the french it's not so great and now there's just one 
One Dragoon yet left, I'm pretty sure. One Cav left. The French. All in all, this is one Dragoon. And whether that's going to get sent to the right flank, I think it is, because whether they're being most aggressive. I guess the left, hopefully, has just got enough squareables that it can look after itself. Looks like they are going to try and hold here, but the Austrians, they've just got some skirms here. If anything, now they're kind of fooling the French by... Um, yeah, just having a few Grenzers, which are hidden anyway. Uh, but just a few Skirms and a Hussar just occupying a lot of French infantry and some guns. Uh, the French now, I think, have cottoned on maybe. And it's like, yeah, we're getting our infantry out of here. Moving back towards, uh, sort of towards the armory and the center. I mean, this is also on for the French. These four units of line infantry here. Uh, two of them could have a straight shot down this land there here. This one here on the end could just go straight in. If the French gauge head on... And the French could side charge, maybe master up all of that. If they had calves to support as well, oh, they'd be doing great because they could have rushed that, uh, that Freikorps artillery there. And obviously that's, that Austria won't respond, they more than likely will with this huge, well, I'd say huge Dragoon unit. It used to be a huge Dragoon unit, it's about half strength now, 67 riders left. Austria looks... Fairly well organized. Look like they are sort of nearly in position. I don't know what these three units here are doing. But yeah, they're, they're, they've got up a new battle line here ready to go. The guns are in position. It's five pounders. I just realized that's a... Oh, they got pinned, I think, these guys. That little, like, Jaeger unit there, I think, for uh, the four-pointer there. Just got kind of fimmed a little bit, I think, by uh, the French unit here. I don't think the French unit actually realized they were being charged by Jaegers that were probably were out of melee. Uh, out of uh, ammo, sorry. But yeah, I think they were busy trying to shoot the lander here, which are already suffering, already, yeah, red morale. This is definitely on for the French, this little move. They need to get rid of that uh, Freikorps light infantry there, though. Otherwise, they're going to just side shot the French and try and uh, sort of give, routed, sir. repeat the favor for the French. There you go. Routing a fair few of those land there. Can they get any more? Can they get any more? I mean, if some of these troops from the left come to the center, well, not center, but I guess it is the, the center, really. That If we call that the left there, this is the center, this is the right. If they can get some of the troops from the left to, towards the center to maybe try and help get them in column and try and do a few charges. These, yeah, these four uh, infantry units right now are, yeah, really putting the hurt on the Austrians. I mean, they only are killing land there, but they're killing quite a bit of it, and quite a lot of this line is made of the time there. And even the Hungarians don't seem like they're having a good time. They are looking the wrong way, which isn't helping. But look at these guys, they're gonna fire point blank at each other. Only a wall splits them. Fire with boys. boy. Oh, the officer's gone for the... Uh, the unit. They actually are going to try melee. They're actually trying to melee, try the melee there. Oh, it's because uh, they're actually going to go. I think the player thought maybe he could melee. Routed, I don't know. Going through the wall obviously wasn't the possible, and the French charge him instead. And here, oh, charging him in here. Oh, that was lucky for the French. They just saved their artillery. Good volley there at the last minute. I think these are like eight pounders, but they just absolutely splashed those as goons with cannons to fire by the looks of it. The next one coming in though, and I don't think the French are going to be able to um, reload in time, so this is probably going to be the death of the artillery. We'll see how quick those uh, artillery crew can reload, but here we go, the pristine dragoons here, mostly white horses and with white uniforms, looking glorious. And there you go, going in. Pristine unit here, yeah, the Hohenlinden, I think it is, basically named after the commander of like, the, uh, the dynasty. Not the dynasty, but the Habsburg of the dynasty. Austria should win this, maybe? Winning slightly. They're red lining though, and they're actually gonna route. There you go, I'm surprised. They thought the large unit, and this, I think this Dragoon's already broken once, I thought, for the French. But there you go, they did it. They managed to secure uh, the center again, but they did they did cost them a gun, which the French, I think, are gonna need. Try and help make them push. The French keep coming. 
has used all available ammunition. A lot of units running out of ammo. Yeah, that fried core Jaeger there, I think it is out of ammo. I mean, that's what happens when you in the gorilla deploy. You're in from the very first second of a fight. You're just shooting all game. Yeah. You're going to run out of ammo pretty soon. Certainly seems like the French right is uh, a stall. I think this sort of patch of forest here that the Austrians have managed to occupy is, is working well for them. They can try and use them for cover. They can keep a lot of troops in reserve there and sort of cycle out what troops the one in the front where they need fresh troops there, where they, yeah, some units are starting to waver, they can just always fall back. Put new units in it. It just seems like that's, that's working. And it seems like the French are also kind of having to spread their strength elsewhere. Some of these troops from the left now arriving, like I was saying, they should. Still seem like they have a lot of columns here. Look at all this uh, French infantry they still have. Yeah, send more this way. It looks like Austria, yeah, has literally got... Two Grenz units here and a, a, and a uh, Schutzen. That's all they have. I mean, it looks like the French are now falling back most of the uh, Austrians do have a Hussado in behind. This is a problem that last Junior is actually going to have to keep an eye on it. I think the Austrians are pretty low on cavalry. They've got a Chevalier and that one Hussar. So it's a two on one actually when it comes to cav. They are running pretty low on cav themselves, the Austrians. And they're going to advance forward on their, their left, the, the French right. I mean, that one Hussar, I mean, all that's to do is going in and probably get another general on the French. Then if he gives that one at the end there. Get him, he's the, uh, he's the general of the army of the right. Get him and it's curtains, I think, for the French. Still a very healthy Hungarian grenadier here as well. He's in a line fight, but he's winning that line fight. Whether they're keeping this around the town, like this uh, armory sort of like hamlet, because the French go and they can melee it. Probably not a bad idea, though. I don't think these uh, land bear are going to be winning any melee fights in time. And more Austrians go into their left. Yeah, they're really stacking up over there. I guess maybe that's where they want to put their sucker punch hit in? I don't really know. I mean, the Austrians really could just go anywhere down the line. I think the French kind of are, you know, they're starting to creak crumble in a few spots. Orange lining, red lining with a few of these units now. Certainly not being helped as they just march towards Austrian guns. So it looks like, yeah, it's going to be the left. But at least it looked like for a bit. Now, maybe not so much. Well, whether it's the players just shifting around units so they can micro uh, the sectors a little bit easier, which it, it quite honestly could be the case. It looks like a lot of these troops have gone to the left now, going back towards the center. Uh, I mean, this is definitely looking like a pretty good spot to an assault. I mean, these troops might be uh, part of an army, uh, which I think is like the case that has a general. Which is what most of those troops from the left are coming, like, coming over are. They are just like troops with no general. So their morale's not going to be that great. And where their army losses take effect now, I don't know. Okay, they're still big health units, 167. They'll have to do with the French. There you go, routed another French unit. The long melee is uh, not working out for them. And you can see Austria actually now, is, I think, is uh, bringing back his, his sort of right flank to put them here. Johan's got some land there of his own. He's trying to try and side shot some of these. French is still trying to assault the uh, the hamlet. They now got the uh, they have now the fence to protect all the wall to protect themselves. Certainly the Austrians. Both sides have wall wall abilities. Yeah, here we go. The hussar is going in. It's going in after just some little voltigeurs. I don't know where the gen's got to. I can't see him. There was the gen for the right flank somewhere over here, but I can't see him. But there you go. The hussar's going in. Breaking that little unit there. Whether they'll just try and charge some of these units in the back now. Looks like that is the case. Austria, I think, should try to 
try to get his infantry a little bit closer to support this, try and just, you know, break the, uh, the French right once and for all. So yeah, the Hussar's gonna break one, maybe two. Might get this one as well. They are redlining there themselves. Looks like the French could form. Maybe they could form square. They just do some odd formation, trying to maybe pull out a melee. Yeah, maybe just put their ground. Yeah, the Hussars are gonna hold, but they're gonna be yeah tired now. Uh, units breaking. Here's just some more of the uh, the land there, and there in go the uh, the Hussars again. And a non square And again, they were out them. That one form square though, and uh, yeah. I think it's just maybe from tiredness and breaking. There's the general though, there's a general. Didn't get him. He might have been protected by this dude. Then that now leaves, I think. One cavalry for the uh, for the Austrians. Yeah, it's this one all the way over here. This Chevalier here. I think that's all that remains now of that. Mighty cavalry force that the Austrians have had most of this game. That Hussar might return, I don't know, his 34 is a bit low. Honestly, I think the Austrians made the mistake of letting the, uh, the French sort of reset up a little bit, letting this left flank kind of just slip away. Like, where they felt like they did need to stabilize the right, I mean, the French right has been very well on them um, sort of putting the pressure on the Austrians they're making the Austrians have to scramble maybe give up on their offenses over here which is what obviously happened but whether they should have just you know the Austrians should have just you know gone screw it the left's gone just let the left try and hold out as long as possible the right was doing so well whether they could have just like kept destroying that, that left of the French army uh, and just then just hammering it home just like kind of swinging around I mean, the lines might have turned, but that might have been it. The French are also sitting in their last goon. They're going to go in for all this artillery here. This one hasn't actually uh, unlimbered, so that'll be an easy kill, I think, for the Austrians. And where, they should get the other one as well. That could be a lot of artillery in a moment. Gone there for the Austrians. And I think that goon might have get out of there alive. Unless he's going to go in for some of these. I think he's going to go in for some of these land, but it's going to go, go all in. Not a bad idea. Gonna certainly do a lot of uh, problem, be a lot of a uh, lot of damage there done to the Austrian front line. Yeah, it's gonna go for the next one. Don't know if we get the one after that. These guys can't form square, but they're gonna turn and face. And yeah, the Dragoon I think has run its race. It's redlining it. Yeah, we're we'll out there, and that'll be that uh, cavalry done. And now the Austrians have got cavalry superiority again because they have one cav unit left. French right though, still looking healthy. I mean, there's thick lines in the air here. Thick, thick lines. They're big units still left. But imagine how very few of them can form square. Not that they'd really need to now. With little to no cav left. But yeah, here we go. French infantry going in. Catching up with uh, that combat gen. Uh, line infantry routing that. And now they're into the sort of second line of the Austrians here. Most of the uh, Johan units left. I think the four point is pretty much out of stuff. I think they're most of you around the uh, the armory if they're anywhere. But yeah, the French. The French look strong on the right. On their right, center maybe. Looks like they are trying to shift some of this Laguerre sort of squad that they have here. Shift back towards the center. Well, that's a good idea. I feel like the mass Laguerre was working, but whether they think there's just not, not a lot of Austrians now to be trying to shoot with all of that infantry, which might be the case. Might be their undoing, you never know. But yeah, the, the Eugene Laguerre, that's the way to go. you got to spam those guys out. I usually spam out the Eugene Laguerre and then also bring the Volt Gaze on beat. Might bother with some of the Italian dub. Probably not. If anything, the Italian it. Line infantry just for a bit of mass, a bit of a bit of uh, cannon fodder is always good. Or the Italian again, but this is not bad for the France, for the French either. They get like the, the front on shots in and the side shots from uh, some of these uh, Laguerre and uh, French infantry here. So yeah, France is pushing on hard around the uh, the village here. They might be able to hit them um, from this spot here instead. And uh, yeah, the four points still here. Yeah, the French doing a good job sort of targeting uh, where, where land there is. It seems. Whether it's purposeful or whether it's just luck. 
Uh, French is going in here. Charging the Grenadiers. I don't think they can get side shots that easy, the French. Uh, but there is also now Grenadiers posted around this church. I think they're going to wait for the right opportunity to go into an early charge here. Looks like the Grenzers, though, might repulse the French. Yep, they do. And the French are going to go for a melee fire, I think. Yeah, they look at the Grenzers to continue that on. I don't even know if they meant to. But yeah, the, uh, the German infantry here, I think, might just push back the French just about. I think the French were better off shooting in melee. I think they were. They had more units. They had five against three. I think they just needed a little bit more patience and they would have broken through. I think that's, you know, this French player on the right had a lot of joy from having patience. And it looks like, yeah, France has maybe just ignored that force now on the on the right, on their, on the Austrian left, the uh, French right. They've sent all the Leger now back towards the town. They're going to try and uh, uh, claim the armory. The hamlet, the town, whatever you want to call it. Very, very close. Very, very close. This left here just has to kind of just stall. I mean, it's just land there, but I think these guys will have no generals, so they have no morale. These... Voltigares as well shoot in the back line. Get them, get them on a flank. Get them being a pain. Be, uh, instead of just shooting the backs of their own line infantry. That's not good. Another attempt to go through here. The Italian guards still are alive. But they're quite small. How effective they're going to be? I don't know. They're not going to be a good effective, that's for sure, in a line fight. I don't know if they're necessarily going to make a dent if it came to a melee fight. They might be pretty good for Inspires. We're going to see some big artillery as well being pushed forward by the French. Where that's been, I don't know. But yeah, this is now possibly problematic for the French. They maybe have let the foot off the gas on this Austrian left, and it is now coming back to bite them a little bit here. And the Austrian Cav, we can't forget about Josef here. He's sniffing about in the back lines. He's looking for, he's looking for kills. He's looking for generals. That's the only one left? No, I think they have two out here actually. They're pretty safe, I think, at the moment. There's a couple of line infantry looking the other way, keeping an eye on these fellas. Uh, that, that cab in the back. Yeah, it looks like. Uh, I think the Grenadiers actually just broke from the line, but the other one has retreated. Shooting at the trailer, just reloading those. Big Legare units coming up here. I mean, yeah, I think the French have, like, some of their units they have left are bigger, healthier than the, uh, the Austrians, and most of them, I think, are decent ones. So, maybe man for man, the French want to try and shoot their way through. I mean, this one's already redlining. I think the Austrians are now doing the same as the French. They're targeting multiple units at a time. Like, got multiple units targeting to, like, these three, I think, are targeting that one. I mean, where the Austrian Grenadiers, uh, the Hungarian Grenadiers, they can go in. They are Austrian, but... Uh, you know, called by their true nationality, the Hungarians, whether they could go in melee against the Laguerre, I don't know. Whether they dare to. Oh, artillery here is dueling with other artillery, it looks like, and they're trying to take each other out. Looks like the uh, Joseph's uh, cavalry there did go for a bit of a charge somewhere, or at least maybe got a bit too close. It definitely was orange line for a moment there. Not looking good. A lot of units think it's breaking because other units are breaking around them. And actually a cav, a general here is broken. Not dead, but a general is broken, I just see. Whether he was hit by artillery? Might be the case. There's now only one general left, and that's whether well, that's also affecting the uh, effectiveness here. Yeah, look at this. This army is starting to redline all these uh Laguerre that you know it does great work on his right flank. It's starting to crumble as their general breaks as well, and they are also going. And here we go. In goes that last cav unit. It's going to go for the artillery, I think, actually. Not the general. And the other general's broken, I think, as well. So that's all the French generals now gone. Either dead or broken. And I think now might be the final sort of nail in the coffin here. Several of girls going in. Where they'll get much, I don't know. The Austrians are kind of blobbing up here. They need to be careful not to blob. That's three units on top of each other. In goes Laguerre. They're kind of, kind of trying to maybe try and stop this little force. The Chevalier's though, yeah, they're going to get in amongst the Laguerre. Look, they're going to maybe break them as well. They might be too spent at that point, shaken, tired, yeah. Doesn't matter, looks like the Austrians are going in elsewhere. Yeah, the German Grenadiers going in, breaking some of these Laguerre. The left, 
It's just revived itself for the Austrians. And yeah, the uh, and the uh, land bear and the Grenz is here. Just uh, slowly winning this line fight. Just slowly, uh, it doesn't help with the, uh, the general. The Volt again copied, I'm proud to say, one of the last units to hold, which, you know, I'd expect no less. They're true champs. They're nearly going to take out that Trieste uh, land bear as well. I think the Cav might have died. Uh, the Chevrolet Gear, yeah, I think it has gone finally. But it's done its bit. There's only a couple of French units now left holding this sort of side. And the Volta Gear's gone being in another unit here. You've done your bit. You've done your bit, Volta Gear's gone being. You've fought for the Empire, for the Emperor. You've done all you could. If it wasn't for a few general snipes, I don't think they were general snipes, I think they were just unlucky ricochets. Uh, I, I, you'd never know, it could have been a different game. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, and also, I mean, yeah, all the French generals broke in odd ways, really. I mean, actually, no, one got caught by Cav. One definitely, which isn't a gen snipe, that's fine to go for. One definitely got hit by artillery. I think the other ones might have just broken just from, like, getting shot by musket fire, um, potentially. Just being low on numbers and then just breaking that way. But yeah, I think we are now just waiting for the, uh, the French final three units here to break. We'll just fast forward, and it looks like the Austrians are going to be victorious here at Raab, which is uh, excellent to see. I like to see the Austrians, you know, uh, win it. I feel like they're often seen as the underdogs. Maybe not in this patch. I think, you know, with the uh, the shooting uh, stats certainly being better. Uh, shooting just being generally just better for, um, for uh, like, in, in, in NTW3, 9.6 9 is better. Meleeing is just not the way anymore. It's why you see so many uh, Laguerre being brought, not really like Grenadiers or Guardsmen by the French. And uh, yeah, shooting is the new uh, sort of melee instead. It's the new strap. Seems like France is kind of, you know, a bit scuppered. they got some armies that can shoot, and this is one of them, I'd say. I just don't think... Uh, they all uh, came with the same strategy. And they certainly lost a few cab fights as well, which didn't help. But they hadn't lost some of those key cab fights, uh, the French, and I think that would have... Uh, Change the game, but there you go. I mean, there you go. Grenadiers going in, routing that final Laguerre. I think if all of them have gone with like the Laguerre spam, and that might have made a difference. I don't know. There were a lot there. You've got to bring other stuff as well, but the left has definitely, I feel like, had a lack of Laguerre compared to the right. Uh, but there you go. A victory for the Austrians. Hopefully, I'll put up the end results. Um, this is uh, sent in by Johnny Le Buffoon. I think it's from his perspective as well. We'll have a quick look. Uh, well, you'll be able to tell from the end results if he was playing against the French or the Austrians. I'll be surprised if he was playing in the Austrians. A uh, French uh, boy loves uh, playing as uh, his imperial uh, ancestors. But we'll have a quick uh, look at the end results. Anyway, um, it is from the perspective of um, the four-pointer Austrian uh, players. And uh, yeah, the Freikorps here, the light infantry getting 109 kills. I think they were the guys defending the Hamlet. They got some good kills. The artillery, 74 kills. But nothing else getting huge kills, really. Uh, it's only a four-pointer. It's not going to get massive kills. It's just there to be an annoyance. being a, uh, And it, it managed to claim the middle ground early on for the Austrians, which is, you know, possibly also what gave them the victory, that they had all those defensive positions uh, while the French uh, weren't able to take them early on in the game uh, themselves. But there you go, guys. That is today's NTW3 uh, battle. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, do remember to leave a like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment as well. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Make sure you check out some of the NTW3 battles appearing on your screen. There's some good ones there uh, if you haven't seen those ones. But until next time, I'll see you in the next one.